But I'm a celeb. Oh, yeah, I watched Your friend it. Nigel. I'm doing really well, actually. I'm managing to watch it. It's like a bush tucker trial for me, having to sit and watch <laughs> that every night. I can't say I'm a big fan of the show, but I am, you know, dutifully watching it because my old boss and bestie is in there. And frankly, you know, I think for other people, looking at Nigel wandering around being Nigel might be quite interesting. They only ever see him in TV interviews and, you know, on stage and stuff like that, whereas I know what he's like in, in the wild anyway. I so know what he's like. It's I, know sort of, what he's like. You know... I know what he's like. He's £1.5 million pound richer than he was when he went oh. into the jungle. Well, all these true. politicians, they'll go, it's going to be interesting to reach a younger, bigger audience. It's not they're just banking a massive mm -mm, check. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, oh, uh, let's know, watch Nella Rose and Nigel. Mm -hmm. Let's watch that. Apparently, you're anti immigrants. And you're, Who told you that? You, oh, the Who internet. Told, the oh, well, internet. there we are, then. It must be true. It must be true. It must be. <laughs> it must be true. OK, but then why don't black people like you? You'd be amazed, they do. Well, You'd be amazed. Nigel! If, if you came well, with me. Nigel. If you came with me, if you, huh? came, if you came with me through South London, you'd be astonished. Oh, wow. What were you doing in South London, Nigel? Well, I'm there every day. What a ridiculous and abhorrent thing to say. Can you imagine if someone said to Nella Rose, well, why is it that white people don't like you? We'd yeah, be the ones point. being lifted yeah, up and yeah. put into a, a prison cell, wouldn't we? And they say, oh, what are you doing in South London? Like, he's not allowed to go into her territory. Uh, but she just, I mean, sadly, she's just an ignoramus, isn't she, and doesn't get it. And they had this whole debate again about immigration, and she can only see everything through the prism of racism. She seems to be trying to play that card quite a bit in this programme. I don't programme. think she's widely and, read. And, no, I don't think she's widely widely read. But Nigel just quite quietly saying, well, look, you know, immigration is about strain on public services. He knows he's got the people on his side. She's, she's actually doing him a favour. Can I ask you something? Who the hell is Nella Rose? I don't know. No, I've no idea who she is. Apparently, she's an influencer. If you get influenced, if you're the sort of person that gets influenced by Nella Rose, I suggest you have a look at your life and recalibrate your value system because uh, I would not be influenced by this woman in a month of Sundays. But in fairness to her, this is what I'm a celeb are after. They're after these kind of irritants. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, she was ridiculous with Fred Seriex. He said, I'm old enough to be your dad. She actually, won't speak to him ever again. Actually, this is exactly what Nigel is after because he knows when he stands up for what the majority of people think uh, they are glad they have a voice out there who has the courage to say, look, this woke stuff, these sort of accusations of racism and xenophobia are not fine against unbridled immigration. It's not fine when people can see clearly with their own eyes what is going on with the country and are desperately worried about it and are being shouted down for fear they're going to be accused of being fascistic. So actually this is why Nigel is in the jungle because Nigel no, it's not. It's Kevin can make up 1.5 you know million you know, pounds. Kev, I'm not going to have that. Because yeah, well, I, I am. Nigel's lifestyle. I know the house he lives. I'm going to show you on Google Maps, and you can. Well, he can buy a bigger one now, can't he? Oh, uh, you and your leafy Hampstead villa. You wouldn't survive <laughs> a minute living in Nigel's little village. <laughs> I certainly would Uber, not. Uber eats. Uh, but seriously, fanciness. seriously, seriously. Uh, 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 how do you think he's coming across? Is he coming across as the he, Nigel Farage you know? He's coming across exactly as the Nigel Farage I know, which is actually quite a peace knit, quite easy. Yeah, He's very with, restrained, quite affable, he? yeah. but really into being tidy. He doesn't like dirt and mess. Did you likes, tell me he had a bit of a? He had a bit of a Barney up. about well, you know, leaving well, the rubbish bag on the floor and it being eaten by a rat and so people not doing the washing up. He he's a shiny shoots every shiny shoes every day kind of man, and he does he likes people just you know getting on with the job and not being lazy. Is that OCDC or whatever? Is he a bit no, like that? It's just old fashioned values, Kev. What do you mean old fashioned values? Combing I mean, your hair and shining your shoes. Bloke, it's looking bloke, smart. Blokes blokes should not be interested in tidiness. Well, I can tell that you're not interested in looking smart. Yeah. <laughs> really? Thank you very much, Greenie.